Uh, Congressman, you come from a province like Bohol, which is uh, one of the biggest uh, tourism markets in this country, and perhaps because of this, you were inspired to author a bill that has become, uh, that will set the directions of tourism in this country, the uh, master plan for tourism in the Philippines. How would you view now tourism in the Philippines given the success from Bohol? Well, the tourism industry of the Philippines today is really an exciting industry. It is um, leading the way, and we really strongly believe that it will be a major engine for growth and development of this country if properly given also the, the appropriate support in, in many areas. The Tourism Act of 2009, which uh, is scheduled for signing by the president the law within this month, uh, there's, there's an information that it may be signed by May 12, uh, is something that will provide clear directions on the tourism uh, sector's uh, um, uh, strategies for the next few years and it will cut across administrations. Uh, there has been no uh, national law actually or policy on tourism and uh, m policies on tourism were developed as secretaries come in and as they exit. So we have to have a defined set of rules on, on, on the directions of the tourism sector. So the bill now uh, crafts a, a direction for marketing, a, a strategy, and then the organizational setup and the financial support as well, uh, and including the investment areas because tourism brings in a lot of investment. So, uh, being a major industry now in the country, and the, the, it also generates a lot of jobs, uh, foreign exchange reserves, and uh, and uh, it stimulates community development in areas uh, far from the centers of power. And it also distributes income to various sectors in the community uh, as, a, as a strategy for job creation and poverty alleviation. Then it becomes a very exciting uh, industry. And while we are um, seeing the growth uh, of tourism arrivals in the Philippines from 2004, I think, because before that there was a roller coaster ride in the arrival of the Philippine tourism, but our records has consist consistently shown increases from 2004, 2005, 2006, uh, and the latest, the 2008, where we reached 3.1 million. So with that, the development thrust of Philippine tourism will, will really pave the way to more uh, economic benefits uh, to, to, to our country, and uh, this will be a major industry. Don't you think it's a pity that somehow, when you talk about the other ASEAN countries like Thailand, uh, and then maybe even Malaysia, and even Singapore, that somehow, if you compare the uh, number in terms of tourism arrival and the revenues generated by their governments, uh, we're far behind. And just, it is only now that somehow we find ourselves having a destination which can be as competitive as these other countries. Well, um, that is a reality. We are catching up with our Asian neighbors, in fact, and we would like to get a bigger share of the Asia Pacific and the global market of tourism. And uh, the fact that the country was able to host recently a World United Nations World Tourism Organization conference in Cebu and Bohol, uh, it also recognizes the, 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 the determination of the Philippines to be a major player in the world. And uh, our policies that are embedded in the Tourism Act, especially in the areas of investments, will of course uh, open up more opportunities for uh, providing more rooms, access to interesting places and sites, development of these sites, which will make us more competitive. And uh, we hope that we can catch, catch up with the growth uh, in, in, in the area. Of course, we have our own limitations. We are an archipelago of several islands. We are not connected to mainland Asia, unlike Thailand, which is connected to mainland Asia. Uh, of course, these countries have their own strengths as well. But our being an archipelago, in fact, is also an attraction that we have longest coastlines, and uh, these are attractions and the natural, friendly attitude of our people. We, we really believe that we can compete. Now, when you talk about the, uh, the Tourism Master Policy uh, Master Tourism Policy Act, uh, Act of which you, uh, will be signed, hopefully, by the president within the month, is uh, how important is this for the long haul, the long term, especially in terms of marketing? Looking at marketing per se right now, you compare us maybe even again going back to these other countries who are doing very well are we far from what they're doing and the resources being spent for that uh, this is a very important piece of legislation tourism act of 2009 as pcci was saying 
This provides the roadmap of Philippine tourism. And this also will provide a guide to uh, participatory groups, participating groups, stakeholders, on where they can put their investments, where they can put themselves in the whole uh, industry. Uh, during the bicam with Senator Gordon uh, leading the House, the Senate panel, and uh, I, I led the uh, the House uh, contingent. It was very, very clearly stressed that the the Tourism Act of 2009 uh, would be able to really uh, provide the necessary mechanisms of. Uh, a unified promotional effort. That is why we have a body which is called the Promotions Board. And then you have also a unified investment and incentives group under the Tourism Infrastructure and Economic Zone Authority. And then you have a DOT that is an umbrella of everything to provide the necessary regulations and uh, the, uh, the, this is the, the, the bigger body, the umbrella, where all these groups are put together. Then the Duty Free Philippines uh, here is uh, being uh, created into a separate and independent corporate structure so that it does, it's not anymore attached to any of the agencies. It's a mechanism also of revenue generation for the tourism sector. Uh, in marketing, it is very important to stress, again, the basic elements of the four P's of marketing. The promotions, which is very important. You're asking about why are we not competing in the European market. We are starting to yes. be present in the European market. Russia is coming in. The Scandinavian countries, you, they register in cruises already. France is also increasing in its, uh, its arrivals here. So this indicates the fact that the more presence we have in these nations, and the more uh, awareness of what the Philippines can offer, the interest in coming over is important. So promotions as a strategy, and then the price competitiveness. We have to be competitive in our price. Of course, the, the, the product development must continue, providing access, providing the basic facilities, the infrastructures, and of course the rooms are so important. Yeah. Uh, we have to invite more investors. That's why we need incentives so that we can have the number of rooms that we also level our pricing uh, schemes and make it more attractive uh, in comparison to neighboring countries as well. And of course, the other P is the people. We have natural assets of friendly people. It's important that our frontliners are well trained. They are well uh, equipped with the necessary skills that will make a visitor want to come back to the Philippines. So now, th these are all framed uh, clearly in, in, in the bill, in the, in the bill that hopefully will become a law after the president signs it. And uh, the funding mechanisms also to support the needed promotions. And likewise, uh, the incentives in uh, body is also being defined in the law. So now, this will provide the long-term uh, support and direction for the tourism now, industry. When you talk about destinations, uh, you, uh, you talk about uh, different uh, uh, areas throughout the country. So you cannot count out the participation of local government units, uh, especially now when you talk about domestic tourism, because each particular province can have its own tourist destination, and they play a big role in this, uh, in this whole, uh, in this whole uh, roadmap that you're talking about. Uh, that's right. Even uh, like I myself came from the local government before I became a congressman, and that was also the time when we started moving towards identifying Bohol as a prime eco-cultural tourism destination. And uh, we even came up with the first environmental code in the country and uh, also came up with a tourism plan for the province. So it, what, is, what I'm stressing here is the role of local governments in pushing the industry is so, so important. And uh, the first, they have to identify themselves as a player. Uh, they have to, 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 to inventory their resources. Like in Bohol, we did some SWOT analysis, uh, uh, looking at the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats, and later identified that we have our strength in tourism, we have heritage sites, we have natural attractions, and, and, and we just have to put the, the policies in place and uh, the, the support uh, mechanisms. And so uh, the Tourism Act of 2009 puts everything there. The, the relationship of national to local, the relationship of uh, local governments to the Department of Tourism, the capacity building that DOT must provide to the LGUs, and make sure that the LGUs understands what tourism is all about and what international competitiveness is all about. Because our standards must be set on a certain level that is acceptable internationally. 
and our local governments must understand that. When a mayor issues a permit for construction of a certain hotel or facility, that local government must also understand that they are not providing those facilities only for their own people, but it should be a facility that will meet the requirements and standards of the international community visiting the place. And that's where DOT comes into the picture.